Speaker, following the Supreme Court's unanimous decision to rebuke the Conservatives' unconstitutional plan to unilaterally reform the Senate, this government appears to have given up on reforming the Senate entirely. But as Conservative Senator Siegel said, there are still changes that could be made that do not require constitutional amendment. For example, he said, there could be a new approach to how you appoint on a consultative basis. Will the government embrace this nonpartisan consultative approach when filling the current vacancies, or will it be business as usual? And the Honourable Minister of Democratic Reform. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, the, liberal first, the first part of the Liberal proposal is to change uh, Liberal Senators into Senate Liberals. <laughs> and then the second proposal that the Liberal has come up with is to put in place a, a, a group of non-elected elites to, to choose who should represent Canadians in the Senate. That would mean that, that not only would the Senate be one step removed from democracy, it would be two steps removed from democracy. That's the Triple E Senate, for the elites, by the elites, and of the elites. <laughs>